Next up, and I'll make this quick, sushi swap tanks below a dollar as protocol's liquidity continues to bleed. Good riddance. So the food inspired DeFi token is currently down almost 94% from its all-time high of 1590, Jesus, 1597, that was reached on September 1st. It's pretty low. So if you don't know, let me give you a little history lesson. This is always interesting. And the reason I'm talking about this, it's not because I want to bag on this on this project. A lot of people lost a lot of money and that sucks. I don't, I don't want to see anybody lose money. Let me be very, very clear on that. But I wanted to cover the story as a reminder for anybody who is listening, who is thinking about starting the same type of thing, this is not the way to do it. This is the exact opposite way to do things and to screw people out and then also to cause the whole industry really to have a black eye. We're going to recover. I think we'll be okay. These are just growing pains, but this is what's not to do. And when we get into Uniswap, I'll tell you what exactly you should do. So as reported by you today, token then tanked over 75% on September 5th after the master chef swapped his sushi, all his sushi for Ethereum and distanced himself from the project. Sushi had a relief rally the following day when FTX CEO uh, SBF, Sam Bank and Free Fried was handed over the protocol. Next week, Sushi Swap wanted to become the largest DEX with 1.4 billion worth of total value locked because of its successful vampire mining attack in Uniswap, just essentially uh, sucking all the different um, liquidity out of Uniswap. Not all of it, but a good a good portion. Still, the token was crashing. Chef Nomi's uh, repentance caused a 50% rally on September 11th, but it wasn't sustainable, and now here we are. So it's one of those things in business, and it's one of those things in trust. I've always said this in the same thing. Trust is a currency you cannot buy, and it takes or can take decades to actually build up a reputation, but it only takes only seconds to make it crumble. So you have to protect these things. And I've seen businesses crumble because they make a catastrophic mistake, and it's all based on trust. And they do something to their users, to their employees, to the people that they serve, and it screws them out of something, and you just can't recover from that. No matter what you do, it's just very hard to come back. And this is exactly what happened with Sushi. So that's how it goes. So if you're going to start up some type of project, just know this is the exact opposite thing you want to do. Now, Uniswap later recaptured all attention with the surprise airdrop of its Uni token on September 17th. And that was fantastic. That's how you do things, right? You don't give it all to these whales. You don't give it all to your investors. You say, hey, we're going to reward the community that got us here. We're going to stick with the person that brought us to the dance. Here you go. Here's your foreign Uniswap tokens. And you know what? If it was any other type of way, I would have sold those things so quick. I'd have been like, great. Thanks for it, suckers. I'm out of here. But to date, I have not sold them. I probably won't sell them just because of the way they handle themselves. So um, I think Uniswap could do great things. Let me know what you think in the comment section. Let's move on.